我叫做黄廖美琪，我系剑桥者嘅執行主任。一九九零年，一班弟兄姊妹一齐祈祷。兩年之後，一九九二年，我哋成立咗建橋者，一個基督教華人社區服務同埋教育嘅中心。我哋以基督化全人服務嘅方式，去服侍新嘅移民，特別係嗰啲低收入或者英文水平低嘅人，佢哋好難揾到主流嘅服務。由於我哋唔屬於任何一個教會，所以我哋係一個集體去見證上帝嘅愛，同埋推動基督徒去關心華埠社區嘅一個機構。喺過去十五年來，我哋盡量喺以下三方面去建立橋梁：喺中國文化同埋美國文化之間，喺家庭裏面、各代之間，同埋喺上帝。My name is Cliff Chuang, and I'm the president of the board of directors of Access. Access is really a unique agency and ministry where、um, it really becomes the hands and feet of Jesus. In Chinatown, a lot of the needs are really revolving around basics. People coming over from China right away, and not knowing any English, not being able to access any of the things a lot of us take for granted. Knowing where to put your kids in school, getting a job, getting housing, to really bridge the gap between where they came from and where they are now, their new home. One of the programs that the founders really felt passionate about at the beginning was English classes for adult learners. We teach upwards of 100 students every semester, giving them the skills that they need to really access the culture and to, to be able to live their lives and to, to be able to improve their lives and to get more education. And a small glass of lemonade. And a small glass of lemonade. 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 Okay. 我来到美国有有七年的时间，在这七年当中，我在外面找工作、上街购物、跟人家呃交流都有困难，于是我下定呃决心学英文，对我的生活啊、呃、有很大的帮助。Hi, my name is Joanna Mielhuizen, and I teach ESL and I teach the kids program here at Access. Many times I've asked. Have you ever been inside of an American's home? I think only once or twice have I had any students say that they actually had. By the time they leave our program, they can feel confident, you know, about talking to people on the street or even just something as simple as going to the grocery store. All of these things, if if you don't have language, it's just a huge hurdle to get over. When we are done at school. We have after school and access. It's great that、um, we have some place to go. My name is Becky Bailey, and I'm the director of children's programming at Access, which includes our after school and summer enrichment programs. Our services are for children primarily who are from non-English speaking homes. Families who've recently immigrated from China. They realize their children are going to a new school system with a new language, and so they're looking for ways to help their child succeed. They don't have the support necessarily, or the time, or the space to get their homework done, and this is really a place for them to have that support from adults who care and adults who know Jesus, who can really also speak to their to their fears in school and and their、um, difficulties adjusting to our culture. Our programs are able to introduce the kids to Jesus. We are able to, at different points during the day, help them to to know who He is and what He is like. And that can happen in a lot of different ways. We try not to use words they're unfamiliar with. You know, by doing things like asking Jesus' help for homework, they're getting to know. Okay, so you can talk to him about stuff like homework, and he does care that it's hard for me, and he doesn't make fun. Of me, and that help is available. And I think all of those things are beginning ways to help somebody get to know what he's like. And I like Bible too, because God can help us make our dreams come true. We also have an enrichment component, and that's just a way of helping the kids get to become more comfortable with the culture in which they are now a part of. And sometimes it includes doing things for the kids that the parents either will not have the time or the ability to do for them, but would probably want to if they could. And so that's things like oh, taking them to the ocean or taking them to something like bowling. We go to a lot of different places like George Island, Frank Andrew Park. 
I like access because the special activities we could do, like cooking, um, art, games, and Bible. The teachers are very nice. I feel very cared for. Part of the role that we can play as a bridge from the parents to the children is say, you know, if you had a good time today, go back and say thank you to your mom and dad because they worked hard all day over a stove in a kitchen or, or waiting tables. They try to make sure that they understand that the opportunities they're having are because their parents are lovingly giving them that opportunity by spending time working for them. I'm Sao Fang Siu. I was on the first board, but more recently, uh, I have become an active volunteer and working more directly with uh, the clients of Access. From the very beginning, Access really wants to take a preventative approach uh, to families. The preventative approach is to work with parents before the problems have surfaced, basically to strengthen their capacity to be parents, uh, to teach new skills, to kind of problem solve with them. And one of the things uh, we were able to do is to open a, a family life library. Books, magazines, CDs, videotapes, and DVDs, all on the subject of family life. We also offer concrete services, filling out all kinds of application forms for them, uh, translating letters and documents, and referring them to other social service agencies. This is very useful to them. Uh, but it also helps me build up uh, rapport, build up a trustful relationship with them. We have decided to try something new. We are going to offer a series of discussion groups. And this would provide an opportunity for the parents to bring up concrete issues, parenting issues they, that they encounter in their lives, and then to turn to one another for mutual support and problem solving. And compared to the children's program and the adult English classes, this family life education is really the new kid on the block. We have no budget, we don't have a uh, staff, um, but we really want to keep it going. There's a need for not just Cantonese workshops, but also Putonghua workshops, and maybe also workshops in other Chinese dialects. One of my dreams is um, to be able to, to train parents to be family life educators themselves so that they can become peer facilitators. And maybe some of them one day will serve on our board. There's just a lot of times where we have a chance to laugh together. And I guess it represents more than just a job or workplace. There's something special here. It's a blessing to be able to see that my own training, professional training, all my experience did not go to waste, that I could actually use them uh, in this ministry. We need people who are passionate about God's work in Greater Boston in Chinatown to help us think about where we're going to go in the next several years. Volunteering is always helpful. We need volunteers in all of our programs. If you feel God's calling you for any of these things, we'd love to have you. Much of our budget is, is heavily dependent on the support of individuals in terms of services we try to offer at minimal cost to those families in Chinatown who don't have very much.